welcome in the world of pharmacy i am professor ramdal darade in this video i will discuss basic introduction of nba establishment of nba then what is meant by accreditation why accreditation is essential who gets accreditation what is impact of accreditation what are the benefits of accreditation what is meant by outcome based accreditation then what are the objectives of nba what is meant by washington accord then classification of the institutes as per nba then what are the accreditation criteria what is meant by po program educational objectives what is meant by po program objectives then what is meant by uh, sorry program outcomes and what is meant by course outcomes then what are the documents to be evaluated by nba team then uh, format of self assessment report it consists of nine criteria and weightage is of 1000 marks and last is annex 1 it consists of the program outcomes which are decided by nba there are 11 program outcomes which are decided by nba so nba it is a national board of accreditation it basically it comes uh, basically it was established by aict all india council of technical education so let us discuss from basic basic introduction to important parts of nba so about nba nba national board of accreditation india was established by aict all india council of technical education under section 10u of aict act in the year 1994 in order to assess the qualitative competence of the programs offered by the educational institutions from diploma level to the postgraduate level in engineering and technology management pharmacy architecture and related disciplines which are approved by aict so basic thing this uh, nba came into exist in the year 1994 under the section 10u of aict act so this nd nba accredits technical program such as engineering technology management pharmacy architecture and related disciplines disciplines such as uh, uh, hotel management and catering technology so nba came into existence as a, an independent autonomous body with effect from 7th january 2010 with the objective of assurance of the quality and the relevance of technical education especially of the programs in the professional and technical disciplines uh, that is engineering technology management architecture pharmacy hotel management and catering technology through the mechanism of accreditation programs offered by the technical institutions so this nba was established in 1994 of aict act and then it becomes an independent autonomous body in 2010 the memorandum of association and the rules of nba were amended in april 2013 to make it completely independent of aict administratively as well as financially so this is the important point in 2013 this nba becomes autonomous body administratively as well as financially it is completely separated from the aict the nba conducts the evaluation programs of technical education institutes on the basis of laid down norms means means the evaluation of the various technical institutes done on the basis of well defined criteria this may include but not limited to institutional mission and objectives organization and the governance infrastructure facilities quality of teaching and learning curriculum design and review support services such as library laboratory instrumentation and computer facilities so there are many parameters to be assessed by the nba team not only limited to the institutional mission and vision all the important parameters of the technical institutions are assessed by the nba so what is meant by accreditation definition of the accreditation accreditation is a formal recognition of the quality of an educational program by an external independent agency by impartial assessment on the basis of well defined criteria of assessment so accreditation is a formal recognition of quality of an educational program and this 
recognition is done by the external independent agency and this assessment is carried out on well defined criteria it is the process of quality assurance we can say in another way it is a process of quality assurance and improvement whereby a program in an approved institution is critically appraised to verify that the program continues to meet and exceed the standards prescribed by the accrediting body from time to time it is a kind of recognition which indicate that a program of the, or the institution fulfill the certain standards so basic aim of accreditation is to assess the quality of an educational program why accreditation is required the purpose of accreditation by the nba is to promote and the recognize the excellence in the technical education in the college and the universities at the both the under, undergraduate and the postgraduate levels institutions students employers and the public at large all the benefit from the external verification of the quality provided through the nba accreditation process they also benefits from the process of continuous quality improvement that is encouraged by the nba's development approach to promote the excellence in the technical education so basic aim of this accreditation process is to promote the excellence in the technical education and to support and advise the technical institutions in the maintenance and enhancement of their quality and the provisions then who gets accredited individuals courses and the institutions are not accredited by nba nba only accredits programs not the institutes or not the individuals nba only accredits the programs in engineering in computer application in pharmacy management hotel management and catering technology means particularly this nba accredits technical programs what is the impact of accreditation it encourages quality improvement initiatives by the institutions so basic aim of this nba is to improve the quality of the educational program then improve the student enrollment both in terms of quality and the quantity it helps the institution in securing the necessary funds to getting the funds from the various government agency nba accreditation is required enhances employability of the graduates means uh, companies think that the person which who comes from the accredited institute considered as the best uh, in its uh, knowledge in technical uh, program so facilitates it also facilitates the transnational recognition of the degrees and the mobility of the graduate and professionals and this particularly there is washington accord and uh, according to this accord the engineering educations um, throughout the world is considered as equal if the institute is institute is nba accredited it motivate the faculty to participate actively in academic and uh, related institutional and departmental activities it helps to create sound and challenging academic environment in the institutes and contribute to social and economical development of the country by producing the high quality technical manpower so there are the uh, many uh, positive impacts of the nba accreditation in terms of quality and in, in terms of enhancement of employability to uh, get the necessary funds from the various government agencies for research purpose for carrying out uh, seminar and conferences so there are the many benefits of the accreditation so benefit and uh, significance of the accreditation accredited institutes or the programs offer the highest quality education available then accreditation institutes or the programs strengthen the consumers confidence and employers value in degrees of the accredited program the most accreditation helps the institution to know the strength weakness opportunities and push them to the continuous improve their programs and give them a new sense of direction identity and the targets accredited institutes or the programs demonstrate accountability to the public commitment to the excellence and continuous quality improvement these are the benefits or the significance of the accreditation then what is mean by outcome based accreditation criteria 
so basically outcome based education is targeted at the achieving desirable outcomes in terms of knowledge skill attitude and the behaviors at the end of the program means whenever a student complete any program such as b pharmacy or b after the completion of the four years of the program the student must gain the uh, maximum amount of technical knowledge then desired uh, we can say desired knowledge desired skills and desired attitude and changes in the behavior at the end of the program so this is basic uh, focus of this nba accreditation okay so it focuses on the outcome whenever a student complete a degree course then he should get a thorough a technical knowledge he should get a, a skills and the uh, particular attitudes and the behaviors at the end of program the teaching with this awareness and the making the association efforts the constitutes the outcome based education okay so uh, teaching should be such that the teacher must focus on the outcomes of the uh, education it believes that the education educational quality must be measured by the outcomes rather than the inputs because the inputs do not necessarily correlate with the quality outcomes means the main focus is on the process and the end result outcomes are different not only on the inputs but also on the processes followed by the institution to convert inputs into defined outcomes so objectives of nba the first objective of nba is to assess and accredit the technical education programs like engineering management pharmacy and the hotel management etc so this nba gives a formal recognition to the educational program and check out its quality to promote the quality conscious system of technical education where excellence relevance to the market needs and the participation by the all the stakeholders are the prime and the major determinants so main aim of the nba is to promote the excellence in the technical education to enhance the quality of the educational programs as well as to give uh, such education to the student which uh, which is uh, uh, having relevance to the market needs and to you all the standards and the parameters means to set a benchmark in education program or to set a particular standards of the institution and the educational programs and the parameters for the assessment and the accreditation in line with the parameters laid down by the appropriate statutory regulatory authority for the coordination determination and regulation of the standards in the concerned field of, field of technical education then what is meant by washington accord the washington accord is an international multilateral agreement means this accord or this agreement is between the few countries among the bodies responsible for accrediting undergraduate engineering degree programs okay this washington accord is limited to engineering education only engineering degree programs originally signed among the six countries in 1989 the nba become a provisional member of the washington accord in 2007 and given the status of permanent signatory on 13 june 2014 it recognizes the substantial equivalency the main of this washington accord is uh, to recognize the equivalency of the programs accredited by the bodies that are its a signatory and recognized mutually as having met the academic requirements for the entry to the practice of engineering in the area of their jurisdiction means this is an international multilateral agreement between the few countries and india become its a member permanent member in 2014 this uh, this helps to maintain the st uh, standard of the engineering education or the equivalency in the in the engineering education throughout the world so next point is classification of the institutions uh, as per uh, nba the institutions are classified into two systems tier 1 system and another one is tier 2 system so tier 1 system it consists of the institutions of national importance such as iits iisc triple it nit and the central universities it consists of the state universities private universities deemed to be universities institutions declared by 
declared deemed to be university by the ministry of hrd then the institution declared as autonomous by the competent competent empowered authority means basically tier 1 system it consists of the institutes of national importance such as iit nit iisc then central and state universities private universities and the autonomous colleges they all came under the tier 1 system then second is tier 2 system this uh, include the non autonomous technical institutions affiliated to the university which may include the government colleges government aided colleges and the private or the self financing colleges then what are the accreditation criteria the uh, self assessment report the sar self assessment report contains the accreditation criteria on the basis of which the institution has to assess itself and provide details as required there are the broadly 10 9 to 10 accreditation criteria which may vary from the program to program in different disciplines in case of pharmacy there are nine accreditation criteria these accreditation criteria have the split into the two parts first uh, first criteria are the program level criteria and second part is the institution level criteria self assessment report should be based on the self introspection and the facts related to the institution to uh, related to particular program it should not be uh, narrative or the promotional in nature but it should be the facts and the introspe self introspection of the institution then <coughs> then program educational objectives what is mean by program educational objectives they are they are the broad statements of the that describe the career and the professional accomplishments of the program is preparing graduates to achieve means this program educational objectives these are the long term objectives means after completion of the degree course what should be the uh, uh, desirable outcomes uh, came uh, came into that particular students so program educational objectives they are the career and professional accomplishments that the program is preparing graduates to achieve means after completion of the program after completion of program after 5 to 10 years the graduate must achieve the uh, professional uh, uh, skills in their career that are the program educational objectives then program outcomes program outcomes are the statements that describe what students are expected to know and be able to do upon the graduating from the program means after completion of particular course uh, after completion of particular program uh, such as uh, b pharmacy or b after completion of four years degree program the student expected to know and able to do able to do upon the graduating okay means this is the outcome after the degree course this relate related to the uh, desirable skills knowledge attitude behavior that students acquire through the program nba defined program outcomes for each discipline there are the 11 program outcomes decided for the pharmacy at the in uh, next slide we will discuss that 11 program outcomes which are decided by the nba then course outcome they are the narrower statements that describe what students are expected to know and are able to do at the end of each course means at the end of each semester what student should know or what knowledge uh, student get after the completion of particular semester that is course outcome means program outcome these are the outcome after four years completion or the completion of degree course that is program outcome and course outcomes the student should know the things after completion of the particular one semester they related to the skills and the knowledge and the behavior that student acquire in the progress through the course or the through the semester so what is mean by assessment assessment is one of the more uh, processes carried out by the institution okay there are the they, uh, institute may carry out their self assessment or assessment may be carried out by the external uh, okay is, assessment is carried out by the institution that identify the collect and prepare the data to 
evaluate the achievements of the program educational objectives and the program outcomes means this assessment is nothing but the self assessment that is carried out by the institution institute, institute needs to collect its data prepare the data and the evaluate the achievements uh, related to the program educational objectives and the program outcomes whether they are achieved or not then what is meant by evaluation evaluation is one or more process done by the evaluation team means this evaluation is carried out by the external independent agency such as nba for interpreting the data and the evidences accumulated through the assessment process means whatever prepared by the self assessment report or whatever done by the institutional its internal assessment and that assessment is evaluated by the evaluation team of nba evaluation determines the extent to which the program educational objectives or the program outcomes being achieved okay means evaluation team determines to which extent the program educational objectives peos and pos are being achieved and the result in the decision and the actions to improve the program means what are the things done to improve the quality of particular program so what is meant by mapping mapping is the uh, process of representing preferably in a matrix form or the correlation among the parameters means correlation may be carried out between the course outcome and the program outcome it may be done one to many or many to one or many to many parameters okay so mapping is nothing but the correlation between the various parameters then next is rubrics rubrics provide a powerful tool for the assessment and grading of the students work so rubric is nothing but the method of analysis or uh, rubrics are the scoring or grading tools which are used to measure student performance means student performance is checked on the basis of uh, some criteria and the learning across the set of criteria and the objectives and the rubrics must be transparent rubrics communicate to the students your expectation in the assessment and what you consider important then what are the documents this is general this is not specific general documents uh, um, uh, evaluated by the nba team and these are the documents as per the nba's manual although it may not be possible to describe the adequately all the factors to be assessed during the on site visit and some of the common ones are the following the outcome of the education provided so basically uh, the team will check what are what are the program outcome and what are the course outcomes achieved during the uh, course and during the program then quality assurance process including the internal reviews what is the process set by the institute to assure the quality of various processes then the assessment uh, what are the entry standards means what are, what are, what are the marks or the uh, in the entrance exam of the students at the uh, while taking the entry into the program and the selection for the admission of the students then ac activities and the work of the students uh, I, whether any project work is done by students or not or what are the uh, curricular and extracurricular activities performed by the students the motivation and the enthusiasm of the faculty qualifications and the activities of the faculty members uh, this is very important qualification and the and the activities of the faculty members such as participation in the faculty development programs and uh, research publication or the review publication in the standard reputed journals then infrastructure facilities such as uh, laboratories libraries whether they are sufficient or not then industry participation uh, where organization having the co collaboration with any industry or the uh, reputed organizations then uh, first uh, the meeting with okay this team interact with particularly the head of the institution that dean or the head of the department or the program of the course coordinator or the principal a member of the management to discuss uh, how the program fits into the overall strategic direction and the focus of the institution institution and the management support for the continued funding and the development of the program means the nba team meets with the head of the institution or the principal then uh, they meet with the uh, members of the management then uh, team will interact with the faculty members then um, interact with the alumni pass out students 
then current students and the parents. The availability of the following to exhibit. So what team C when they visit the profile of the faculty involved in the program means uh, all the details educational qualification the, and the, what are the achievements and the activities uh, performed by the faculty members evidence that the result of the assessment of the course outcomes and the program outcomes are being applied to the review and ongoing improvement of the program effectiveness they will check the various evidences of the internal assessment uh, in relation to program and course outcomes then they will check the list of publication then consultancy and sponsored and funded research projects by the program faculty then the sample materials for the theory and the laboratory course which materials or the which standard references or the what is material prepared by the faculty members then sample of test and semester examination question papers for the, all the courses they will check the what is the quality of the question papers of the internal exams then the students records of the three immediate batches of the graduates means uh, they they will check the record of the current academic year and current academic year minus one and minus two for means uh, they check the uh, dot data of uh, last three years then sample projects and the design reports excellent good or marginal pass by the students then they will check the sample test semester examination answer script projects the assignments they go, go through the assignments and the evidences related to the question paper and evidences related to the assessment tools for the course outcomes and the programs outcomes the sample for industry institution interaction they will check whether the college is interact with the industry or the external world the result of the quality assurance reviews what are the improvement made? the records of the academic support and other learning activities they will check all the academic records uh, the attendance and uh, um, all the uh, assignments given and their assessment what is done for improvement uh, of the performance of the students then the sample student feedback form any other documents that are uh, evaluation of the team NBA may require records of the employment and the higher studies of the graduates means uh, how many students go for higher studies or how many students uh, uh, join the organizations or the employment record then visit to the classrooms laboratories pertaining to the program then central and departmental libraries then um, computer center then documentary evidences to be kept ready by the institution First uh, institution specific uh, uh, and the another is the uh, program specific. So first we will see institution specific documentary evidences checked by the NBA team. The composition of the general council or the board of the governance, uh, senate or and other academic and administrative bodies and their function and the responsibilities. List of the, all the meetings of the bodies held in the past three years along with the attendance records, minutes and the action taken reports of a few meetings such as uh, such bodies along with a list of current faculty members who are the members of such bodies then they go for rules and the policies and the procedures published by the institution including the service book and the academic regulations along with the proof that the employees and the students have been made aware of the rules and the procedures then they will check the budget allocation process and its utilization audited statement accounts then uh, informative websites along with its addresses then library resources they will check the uh, availability of the books journal holdings then list of core and computing and manufacturing then records of training and placement uh, sale the career guidance sales career and guidance sale then the record of the safety checks and the critical installations then they, they will check the medical care records and the us usage of ambulance then academic calendar and schedule of tutorial and the makeup of the classes whether the um, faculty members following the academic calendar or not the course files they will check the containing the course details expected course outcomes uh, set of question papers assignment evaluation schemes uh, for the first year students then they will check the analysis uh, for the assessment and the attainment of outcomes list of additional topics to meet the outcomes means uh, the uh, 
content beyond the syllabus they will check and what are the action to uh, or the action taken by the um, <coughs> taken by the faculty members to fill that gap the feedback forms analysis of the feedback and the corrective actions feedback from the faculties feedback from the students feedback from the stakeholders of the institution the documented feedback received from the stakeholders such as industries uh, parents then alumni the financiers or, or the um, members of the institution and the list of the faculty along with their qualification uh, who are teaching for the first year course the main focus is they are giving on the first year because um, uh, if there is a excellent faculty members uh, taught to first year then there there will be the good result result of the first year students then document related to the number of seats filled by the first year then program specific documents nba accreditation uh, reports of the past visit if any if nba is done previously then that report will be checked by the nba team the department budget and allocation last three years the admission seats filled and the ranks last three years list of number of students who clear the program in four years means last three years data is required the average grade point cgp of last three years data of students cgp or the percentage then the placement and higher studies data for last three years and uh, professional society activities and event and the conferences organized by the institution then the list of the student papers student research or review papers along with the hard copies of their publication the professional society's publication and the magazines then uh, sample the best and average project reports or the thesis the details of the faculty student ratio or student faculty ratio then faculty details with their service book salary details uh, sample appointment letter the promotion and the award letter certificates okay means faculty approval uh, program then faculty list with designation qualification joining date publication r and d interaction details list of faculty publication along with uh, doi doi and publication citation details list of r and d and consultancy projects along with approvals and the project completion reports list of proofs of faculty interaction with outside world list of the classroom and the faculty rooms list of the program specific labs and the computing facilities within the department list of the non teaching staff with their appointment letters list of the short term courses and workshop arranged and course modules developed by the institution and the records of the new program specific facility created if any the records of the overall program specific improvements if any then curriculum program outcomes program educational objectives mission vision statements the mapping of the course outcomes with program outcomes and program specific outcomes the course files then the plan of the course delivery the question papers answer script assignments report of assignment project reports report of design project list of laboratory experiments reports of the laboratory experiments the rubrics developed to validate the program outcomes and program specific outcomes improvement in the curriculum for mapping of program outcomes and program specific outcome direct and indirect assessment to show the attainment of the program outcomes and program specific outcomes the analysis of the assessment and attainment of the outcomes the action identified for the improvement of their impact analysis then the stakeholders involvement in the process of improvement of the program outcomes and the program specific outcomes then budget allocation and utilization so they go through the many documents then uh, here we will discuss self assessment report format so this is very important part uh, this format is for the undergraduate pharmacy program uh, first time accreditation so self assessment report contain so this basically this self assessment report uh, divided into three parts part a constitutes of uh, constitutes the institutional information information related to the college then part b consists constitute of uh, criteria summaries and part 3 uh, part c it contains the declaration by the institution okay so part 1 part a is institutional information part b is a criteria summary uh, there are 
two types uh, they divided into two types of criteria first is a program level criteria and second is the institution level criteria or institute level criteria so program level criteria in that first criteria is a vision mission and program educational objectives then second criteria program curriculum and teaching learning process uh, this second criteria is mainly related to the academic activities and first is related to the uh, vision and mission of the program or the uh, vision and mission of the institution along with program educational objectives then third criteria course outcomes and the program outcomes then fourth criteria student performance fifth criteria uh, the fourth criteria student performance given highest weightage fifth criteria faculty information and contribution this criteria faculty information and contribution is also important criteria this criteria given second highest weightage after student performance then sixth criteria facilities and technical support then seventh criteria is a continuous improvement then next part is institute level criteria that is student support system eighth criteria and ninth criteria governance institutional support and financial resources the last two criteria are mainly related to the institute and part c consists of declaration by the institution and lastly the annex one we will discuss in next slide so part a it constitu constitutes institutional information it uh, in this general information of institute then details of the all the programs being offered by the institution under the consideration and then uh, information regarding AICT approval and the minimum 75 percent faculty should be regular or full-time faculty and the remaining sh shall be contractual faculty as per the AICT norms and the standards so in the first criteria the basic information related to the institution is required so part b criteria summary name of program these criteria are particularly for undergraduate course in pharmacy b pharmacy so program level criteria first criteria vision mission program educational objectives weightage is of 50 marks uh, see here total nine criteria are there and the weightage is of 1000 marks total nine criteria for undergraduate pharmacy and weightage is of 1000 marks so first criteria vision mission and program educational objectives the weightage is of 50 marks program curriculum and teaching learning process weightage of weightage is of 150 marks course outcome and program outcome 100 marks weightage is there student performance highest weightage is given that is 180 marks then faculty information and contribution fifth criteria the second highest weightage of 175 marks is given then facilities and technical support 120 marks then seventh criteria continuous improvement 75 marks weightage is there then institution institute level criteria eighth criteria student support system 50 marks weightage is there and then last ninth criteria governance institutional support and financial resources 100 marks weightage is there total 1000 marks weightage is given and total nine criteria so last point annex one it consists of the program outcomes these 11 program outcomes they are specified or given by the nba so first uh, program outcome is pharmacy knowledge then second program outcome means uh, after the completion of the degree program students are able to know they uh, know, know the to gain the particular um, uh, attitude then technical knowledge and the skills depending on uh, in terms of these 11 program outcomes first is a pharmacy knowledge then planning abilities problem analysis then modern tool usage leadership skills professional identity pharmaceutical ethics communication skills the pharmacist and the society the environment and the sustainability and the lifelong learning skills so friends if you like my video then press the subscribe button and like it thank you